What up? What up, self? How you popping and locking? How you pop a rocking? Tick tocking? Um, well, hey. It is currently May the 5th. And it is a crazy time of uh, or let me rephrase it's a transformative time a rebirth of a time um, yeah it's a full moon in Scorpio and the eclipse and it's an eclipse it's a full moon and it's trin i think is the word that i'm looking for um taurus so lots of really groove nation energies and i am feeling it like whoa i'm feeling this shit i'm feeling this groove like i am feeling it i just had this download I just have this download because yeah so at the full at the new moon eclipse in April that happened at the end of April I had this download that I like this the scariest thing to me was to not be liked and I realized in that moment that literally that fear has been running the ship. I remember saying that in, in, in a setting where it was like all the all the kiddos like around the circle being like, okay, what's your worst fear? And like people were like, spiders, like, you know, the dark. Like I probably also said the dark because I was afraid of the dark. <laughs> but I digress. I said, my worst fear is to not be liked. And I remember being like, that's exactly, like, I feel like I I got it. Like, I remember being like, what? Like, it going around the circle and being like, what is it for me? And just saying that. Huge indicator of how I have been living. <sighs> like, life-changing information. The babe who has been running the ship was scared of people not liking them. So we've been kind of just rolling with that information. And so what also has come to the surface is, um, is that I have been looking to find myself in others thinking that I could find myself in others I thought I could find myself in others I mean of course because I my worst fear is that people won't like me so I would look for myself in them you know rather than finding it within myself I now know I truly find it within myself. Perceiving myself being perceived by others is me perceiving myself. Baby! My life has changed! My life is changed! My life is changed! My life is literally changed to know that and to know to know, to know, to know, to know, to near, to know. No, oh, I lost my train of thought, so I just am saying it over and over. But literally, to know that the ego, the ego, the ego who has been running the ship is the one who does. You scared to not be liked. Now, baby, scared to not be liked can live in my body. 
Feeling lonely can live in my body. Loneliness can live in my body. Boredom can live in my body. Jealous can live in my body. Judgment can live in my body. You know? It can all live in my body. My life has changed, bro. My life has changed. So for the last like week or so, I have been kicking it with what my friend Forrest calls Sib. Source. Source. Source, which is occupied in this body. Source energy, that warm, warm feeling. You know? Identity. Identity. Identity is what I perceive others perceiving me as. What I perceive others to perceive me as. What I am perceiving others to perceive me as. That is identity. I digress. I'm going to digress for a hot minute. Because, bro, identity to me has been so many different things. Identity has been performer. Identity has been a member of a band. Identity has been being black. Identity has been being curvy, a tomboy, being fierce, being a queen, being a king. No, identity has been being like, what do you identi identify as? Like being a queer non-binary artist. Like identity, identity, identity. Like, bro, identity used to be all these other things. Now I know identity is literally what I'm perceiving myself as. Thank you so much. You know? What I'm perceiving myself being perceived as. So identity is within me. Bro. I bear witness, oh my God. I bear witness, oh my God. Bro, 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 bro. My life is shizanged. My life has been changed. Talk about life. It's changed. Because it brings it all back in inwards. Now, if life is a simulation, if this is a literal simulation for me to expand and I can just hear my source being like uh-huh yeah yeah you got this for me to expand my connection to compassion to love you know how you connect to source babies compassion my loves self-compassion worthiness self-concept holding love for yourself loving yourself it's a journey and a half my loves it is a journey. It is a journey. But bit by bit. You know? But it's really the root to all of this. Is the compassion. Self-compassion. That's our connection to source. You know, we're spiritual beings. We're spirit. We're spiritual beings. What houses our spiritual being is this body. Is this body. Is this. You know what's a trip and a half, y'all? I chose this. This is the body I chose. I chose my mom and I chose my dad. I said, Stephen and Lara, y'all are going to give me the dynamics I need to live this life on earth. To have the experience in school of earth you know y'all have the perfect combination of this that the other for me to me and my soul group you know the soul family the galactical beings god oneness and love source energy said So it is sort of begun. 
these are the ones. You know? Now that I truly know this, now that I truly know this, my dudes, now that I truly know this, like I remember hearing this cat saying, I've been working on my self-love. This was like, last, probably this time last year, actually. And I remember the cat was like, I, I just can't wait until my inner voice is just like coming on to me. My inner voice is like, damn, you looking good today. And my bros, my dudes, my babes, my loves, my honeybees. It's happening. You know? Self-doubt. It can, it can live in our bodies. It can live in my body. Self-doubt can live in my body. At the same time. You know, that's all okay. Because I have compassion for that feeling. It's okay. I understand that you have self-doubt. You can live in my body. It is a passing feeling. It actually isn't mine. So it's totally cool. You can totally live here. Like, love you, baby. That is some compassion. That is some self-love. L-O-V-E. But anyways, my babes, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Now that I know, Leo, listen, listen, Leo, 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 Leo. <laughs> listen to me. Dog, homie, cat daddy. We thought our worst fear was to not be liked. Cats out of the bag. It's been happening. It's already done been. It's already done been happening, my love. So there we go. It's like, thank you so, so very much. Thank you so, so very much for holding it down like you have you truly have held it down and like I'd love to just like let you rest you want to rest groovy cause like it doesn't matter what other people think you know what matters is that I am connected to source and love you know forgiveness 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 you know what I'm saying we are only reaching for our highest in every situation and you know I can have compassion for myself for all my mistakes and my wrongdoings and my tries and my missing the marks I can have comp compassion for myself straight up compassion for myself I got that compassion baby Ooh. I got that compassion. I got that compassion. Yeah, I got that compassion. So those are the thoughts. That's the thoughts of today. Future self, higher beings, galactical ones, oneness, love, God, spirit, ancestors, blood, and galaxy related, honey bonds, archangels, Pleiadian guides, Lyrons. Ooh, utilize me. Uh...
I am but a mouthpiece. Woo. Happy full moon in Scorpio, lunar eclipse. To each and every being out there, to Leo, it's happening. It's all happening, baby. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. I believe in y'all. I believe that y'all can love yourself. It, it is my belief in this moment that we can live ourselves more than we've ever, ever in our entire lives. More than we've ever in our entire existence. We deserve to love ourselves. Love, love, L-O-V-E, love ourselves so deep and passionately. And have compassion for ourselves, understanding for ourselves, to hold ourselves, to look within, within ourselves to find what we're looking for. What am I looking for? Self-love, compassion, you know? I am looking for what I am witnessing is the opening of a flower. What I am seeing is the petaling, each petal, each petal, each petal, opening up, opening like a flower. And a wise, wise teacher said, you want to, you want to see, you want to savor, you want, you know, things are slow here on earth. It's meant to be slow. It's like, that's why, that's why we are the way we are. That's why we human the way we do. It's meant to be slow. We're meant to, we're meant to, we're meant to really feel this experience. And with that same breath, we're meant to truly, 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 truly love ourselves. And I just want to show y'all one thing. And you know what's really cool? Because when I say y'all, I'm thinking of... Okay, babies.